Um, four years ago, I have a friend, Rebecca, who took and uh, volunteered to be an RA there during the winter break. Usually the building isn't open during the winter, but they had a high population of residents who needed to stay. So she volunteered. She moved into another RA's room on the second floor. I think the second floor. <laughs> Popular floor. Yeah. Anyway, the second floor she moved in. Um, after the first week that she was there, she felt she woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning, hearing footsteps going down her hallway. Um, you know, at the bottom of the door, how you can see light coming in from the hallway? Yeah. All of a sudden, the light went black. Okay? She thought somebody was outside of her room. She opened the door. Nobody was there. Okay? Um, a few nights later, she woke up again. She heard something being dragged down the hallway. Again, she opened the door, looked out into the hallway. Nobody was in the hallway. She didn't hear footsteps like anybody was running away. Um, so, yeah. Next night. Woken up again, this time from the dragging sound. This time, <laughs> this time um, whenever it went by her door, the light disappeared. Um, she opened the door again, light came back, everything was happy. Okay? The fourth night. Fourth night. It dragged, she heard that dragging sound. Um, this time she opened the door. Um, she saw a very large man outside um, with what appeared to be a body next to him. He started yell yelling at her. She closed the door immediately. Um, thought that, uh, tried calling the, the cops. For 30 minutes, there was banging on her door. She couldn't use her cell phone or her room phone. Neither worked. Okay? Um, so yeah. I had a different story. Who was that guy? No, she was, no, it, it banged on her door for 30 minutes. She was stuck in that room for 12 hours. Oh my Yeah. She was too afraid to leave. After dinner, I heard that it was like she, the man was screaming at her for like five hours. She was staying there for 15 hours. She kept saying for the rest of her stay there, she'd randomly hear angry voices yelling at her. Um, yeah. Um, towards the end of her stay there, um, somebody knocked on her door. She opened the door, nobody was there, and all of a sudden the hall lights went off. Oh, oh, There's a whole bunch of creepy stuff oh, that happened. Oh, oh, oh. Um, over here, as you can see, we're standing next to a graveyard, one of the two that is next to NAU. Um, every once in a while, there's reports of people walking along here dressed like they're from another time period. Okay? There's been stories of seeing cowboys walk along here. Um, you'll drive by them, the lights will shine on them, and they'll disappear. Okay? Yep, pilgrim. <laughs> no pilgrim, uh, Patrick. Sure? No, stop trying to help my stories. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Stop.